everybody, this is Osprey from MyChartCoach.com and we're going to take a look here at some of the ticker symbols that were in play today. Uh, first up, let's take a look at MOSY. Nice close today, closed up uh, 16%. Very nice follow through. What we, we had been looking for on this chart is the, the 100 day simple moving average at 183. That's this gold line here. We wanted to see it turn into support after the close above on the 13th. That, that level held yesterday and then today the share price sprung forward, uh, sprung off that level and is pushing higher towards our next target. Uh, this is a, a chart that we had been working on um, in the past. And so the, the annotations actually on this chart are still uh, um, in play here. The next target is the, the um, closing price here on March 7th. Uh, th that lines up with the, the, the top of this candle. So that's going to be the next target. If it can break above that, th then uh, MOSY could possibly run up here to the 200 and 300 day simple moving averages. So notice how the candles have been riding EMA4 support higher. The, the, the pattern has been very strong. As long as candles are forming above EMA4 support, there's no reason to sell if you are swing trading. The signal is to keep riding. So yeah, sometimes it just takes a little bit of patience. If you notice here that, 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 that the, the big volume spikes were, were, were followed by small red volume bars, What's that, what that is telling you is that most of the traders were still holding from the day before. So once again, we've got a larger green volume bar. Um, let, let's see, you know, the pattern has been uh, a green bar, red bar, green bar, red bar. So we'll see tomorrow if that pattern can continues with the red red candle or if MOSY can continue pushing higher as long as the 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 100 day simple moving averages holds and, and as long as candles are riding above EMA for support it should make that push up to March 7th resistance okay let's take a look at MNKD um, this is a stock that was setting up yesterday we put out alerts in our chat that it was heating up and uh, you know time to look at it again for uh, the 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 bounce play following uh, multiple red candles RSI is back above 50 there was a bullish crossover here on Fasto. Um, yet yesterday it was finding support in, in the 138 to 140 zone and um, it, today it, it had a gap down open. Notice the open was low of day. That, that, that's a, a opening Maro Buzo. That, that, that there's no lower wick on today's candle. What that shows is that the the the, uh, the first trade of the day was low of day and that the bulls were in, in control for the entire day. They closed almost near high of day. There's only a small upper wick on the candle. Uh, today's uh, candle stick pattern did form a uh, bullish engulfing reversal pattern. This is a very strong reversal pattern. Um, you, you usually f uh, seek uh, follow through when this pattern forms. So what we're going to be looking for tomorrow is bullish reversal confirmation. And we'd like to see the, the middle Bollinger Band hold here at 146. And then we want to see a, a push back up here to our next target, which is going to be this 100-day simple moving average at 181 and the upper Bollinger Band at 176. Notice how those levels are coming down fast. Um, the high close resistance level to break, um, you know, it, the, the, the top one is going to be this closing price here on the 30th. If you can break above 165, then you could see a run up to 180. The, the key level to hold is down here at the 50 day simple moving average at uh, one currently at 123. Um, that, that, that level needs to hold and the candles need to uh, get back above the middle Bollinger Band for this uptrend that started back here um, in uh, uh, May with the close above the middle Bollinger Band. Notice how that close there led to this uptrend. We want to see that uptrend continue. The close yesterday below the middle Bollinger Band was a red flag. And so, so the, the candles quickly got, you know, uh, bounced and it quickly closed back above the middle Bollinger Band. This dotted purple line needs to hold. If it, if it fails to hold and, and it breaks below and it turns into resistance, that's going to signal downside risk. Okay, so yeah, MNKD is back in play. We're looking for bullish reversal confirmation. Okay, the big winner today on, on you know, generally... A pretty tough day in the markets was ADMP. Um, it closed up uh, 53 percent. So very nice move today. It is overbought on RSI and Fasto. Uh, notice the close is at 575. Uh, th this was moving uh, strong in after hours. I believe it was above six dollars. Uh, notice that the candle here is uh, breaking out above the upper Bollinger Band on a giant volume spike. When a stock is breaking out on the the uh, daily chart, we like to look at the weekly chart to find resistance. Notice there was a PSR bull flip. You have a bull cross on ADX, and and then uh, bull crosses on both time frames on. 
MACD. So this chart is totally on fire. And, and, and if we look here at the weekly chart, we'll see our next uh, key resistance levels to break. Keep in mind that each candle on this chart only represents one week of trading. Now, now the bullish development this week is the break above the bottom of the gap level. Notice back here between the uh, last week of May and the first week of June, a gap was created between the, the low of day on this candle and the high of day of this candle. So this week there's been a break above the bottom of the gap and above the 200 week simple moving average currently at 484. That is the key level to hold and close above. You want to see a close above this 484 level. That's going to signal more upside potential. With the, uh, the the next target is clear here on this chart. It's this uh, 300 uh, week simple moving average at 627. It looks like that 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 level is going to be hit tomorrow. It, it, if it turns into resistance and pulls back, you really want to see this uh, you know the the this 480 to five level hold and, and turn into support. If the ADMP can close above the 300 week moving average tomorrow at 627. That's going to signal more upside potential, and you could you, you could possibly see a gap fill and a run back up here to this 850 to 875 range. So yeah, this is a very bullish technical development. Uh, notice that there's a really big volume behind the move. Generally, when you see that, that signals more upside potential. Um, you know, you had people that uh, loaded back here. Um, you know, there's big loading at the bottom. You know, a nice uptrend started. Uh, you know, uh, you know, it's, this is a this is a weekly chart, so this has been going on now for the past uh, you know almost year. And, and, and then now it's breaking out. Uh, th this could head back to this 8, 850 level if the uptrend continues. Okay, let's look at ANTH. Okay, this is a stock that heated up a couple days ago. Um, what we want to see here is we're looking for our side to break above 50. If it does that, that's going to be your signal. The chart is really heating up. We got a nice bounce today off of 50 on Fasto. Okay, uh, there was a bullish crossover in ADX, and now, now plus DI is ticking down and, and minus DI is ticking up. You don't want to see the green line cross the red line to the downside if you are a bull. Okay, the, why were we on the stock? Well, well this uh, giant volume bar uh, on uh, Tuesday and, and the push above middle Bollinger Band resistance was our alert that the stock was in play. Um, on Thursday, a red candle formed and, and a long upper wick. It's, it was hitting upper Bollinger Band resistance, but notice it's been holding EMA4 support, the pink line. That means the chart is super strong and candles are forming above the middle Bollinger Band at 169. This is the third close in a row above EMA4 and the middle Bollinger Band. What is that telling you? That's telling you that these levels are turning into support. Notice this very long downtrend here and how the candles were below the pink line during the entire trend. When when the, the this white candle broke above and it's turned into support, this was a bullish change in trend. Notice this, this spot right here. Notice how the pink line crossed the green line to the upside, EMA 8, and it crossed the orange line to the upside, EMA 13, and now you have EMA 8 crossing EMA 13 to the upside. What that is telling you is that there's a trend reversal. There's been a bullish change in trend and that a new uptrend is starting. As long as candles continue forming above EMAs 4, 8, and 13, there will be more upside potential. I know a lot of people got into this trade on Tuesday and everybody's wondering what the heck is going on. It's, uh, you know, you just got in early. You got in a little bit early. You just have to have some patience and let this play set up. Uh, the, what the chart is telling us that there's some sort of news coming. There hasn't been news on this play in, in, in a month. And so uh, it, this is telling us that something is brewing. So we're, we're, as long as this middle Bollinger Band is holding and candles are forming above the EMAs, there's more upside potential and our target is going to be the 50-day simple moving average at 231. If there is a close below the middle Bollinger Band, that's going to signal downside risk and it will no longer be in play. Once again, notice that there was a light volume today. So, so everybody's been holding and there was this big push end of day off of uh, EMAs 4 and 8 and it ended up closing near high of day. So, so yeah, a lot of people have interest in the stock right now. They're just waiting to see if there's going to be a bullish move and follow through. Okay, here's a bounce play for you. Take a look at APTO. Put this on your radar for a bounce play. Um, still in the bull zone on RSI. You've got Fasto down here getting close to the 20 oversold level. Uh, today, there was the classic bounce off of the middle Bollinger Band, currently at 1.114. One, uh, 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 1 and, and that is the key level to hold. As long as this middle Bollinger Band holds, this new uptrend should continue. Uh, uptrend started on this candle here um, uh, on the uh, uh, on the seventh. 
the close above the middle Bollinger Band signal more upside potential. It, it, the APTO closed above the 200-day simple moving average. It hit the 300. You can almost see it up here. Barely see the, 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 the blue line. And then it pulled back, and then it broke below the, the 200, and now it's coming back to test the middle Bollinger Band. As long as this middle Bollinger Band holds, this new uptrend should continue. Notice there's the 150-day simple moving averages just below the middle Bollinger Band. So 105 to 111 is a huge support zone. I mean, notice how, how the 50 simple moving average held here. I mean, it's going to be very unlikely that after you've got this big push, it pull, pulled back for many days, it held the, this 102 support level, and then it broke out higher, and then now it's pulling back. Um, you know, th th there's more of a chance of this new uptrend continuing than this breaking down and dropping below the 50 simple moving average. If it breaks below the 50 simple moving average, that's going to tell you that something is fundamentally wrong here and that there's major downside risk. As long as 111 holds, that is the reload zone. We always try to reload off the middle Bollinger Band on pullbacks for stocks that are uptrending. The, the, why do we do that? Because the middle Bollinger Band is the bottom of the uptrending channel. The upper Bollinger Band is the top. So if you're loading a stock that's in an uptrend off the middle Bollinger Band, you're getting the, the good low entry point. That sets you up to be able to sell once it spikes back above the, the upper Bollinger Band. Okay, so keep an eye on APTO for a bounce play. All right, so everybody's been talking about Bitcoin. And, uh, you know, it's been under this big pressure. It was like this big party and everybody like blew up the bubble and then it popped. And then now everybody's saying, oh, man, Bitcoin, what a scam and la, 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 all this BS about Bitcoin. The bottom line is, is Bitcoin is still in play. Just don't listen to the chatter. Don't listen to the talking heads. Don't listen to the social media. Just follow the charts on this play. That's the best way to go. Um, the the bottom line is, is Bitcoin it has more upside potential and and uh the the chart is signaling that the bounce is setting up here and that GBTC ha has a good chance of uh, getting back above this middle Bollinger Band. Today, a bullish reversal pattern formed, a uh, bullish piercing line. So this is a really good uh, bullish reversal pattern. It, it starts with a gap down open and then the candle closes uh, more than halfway uh, above the midpoint of the previous candle. And, and so what this is telling you is that even though uh, the, the, the it's very similar to a chart we're looking at earlier, the, the, the gap down and then the close above is telling you that the bulls are now in control. And look how the close was near high of day. So basically on this chart, there's two levels that, that need to break that are really crucial. I mean, there's EM, it, it, basically it needs to get above the middle Bollinger Band and above EMAs 4, 8, and 13. If it gets back above this uh, 414 level, which is the top level, 414, 415, then it should continue this previous uptrend. Uh, um, you know, it, it, it is Bitcoin going to start a, a, a long downtrend here? Because if the middle Bollinger Band turns into resistance, that's what the signal will be, is that, that a new downtrend is starting. If it can get back above the middle Bollinger Band, then it could run back up to the 500s and, and uh, continue the uptrend. If for some reason the middle Bollinger Band fails to break and it does turn into resistance, that's going to signal downside risk. And you could see a big drop all the way down to the 50-day simple moving average at 257. Um, <clears throat> notice that this had giant uh, volume. Uh, back here during the big push. Uh, why are we so interested in this uh, um, uh, over-the-counter uh, Bitcoin play that only traded 124,000 shares today? Well, I will show you why. Take a look here at the current market activity for today uh, over, for the over-the-counter stocks. Okay, you can go to this at uh, otcmarkets.com. You go to uh, market activity, you hit current market, and then uh, this is the, the most active and, and the, the largest volume for the day. What do you have on top here? You have Tencent. Okay, huge company. You have Roche, huge company. You have Nintendo, huge company. And then next you have Bitcoin Investment Trust, which most people have never even heard of. Traded $41 million worth of volume today. That is huge, huge, huge uh, money flow. That's giant money flow. I mean, look, look. The only three other stocks that trade over the counter had more money flow, and and it's stocks like Ten Cent that that trade at thirty four dollars a share that that had uh, ninety two million. And so, so basically, this is telling you that Bitcoin Investment Trust is still very much in play. Look how it had the largest amount of trades 
of the day. 4,936 trades off of only 124,000 shares. People are only trading a, a, a very small amount, 30 to 40 shares at a time. So uh, keep in mind, this stock is is very much in play. And uh, um, we're, we're looking, you know, below is Nestle and SoftBank. So the, the, the Bitcoin Investment Trust had more money flow than... than uh, uh, Nestle, and it had twice as much money flow as SoftBank, which is a huge company. So, so keep your eye on this play. Keep an eye on on Bitcoin. Um, it, 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 as Bitcoin goes, GPTS follows, and this is a direct reflection of the bullish move of of Bitcoin. Okay, so take a look if you're looking into Bitcoin stocks at BTCS. Okay, th this stock has been on a multi-day drop. Look at all the red candles in a row. We've got seven red candles in a row, and then it dropped below the 50-day simple moving average. We really wanted to see that level hold yesterday. We, we are, we've been watching this play. You know, it held for two days in a row. And then um, it's currently at 0 0.067. And what we want to see tomorrow is we want to see a close above that level in EMA4 to signal the bounce. We're looking for a bullish reversal pattern to, to form. It looks like it could happen tomorrow. One of the reasons why it looks like it could is this uh, long lower wick on today's candle. This shows loading off of low of day. Look how there was a, a, a volume spike. Not a huge volume spike, but there was a spike above the previous days. That is signaling that bounce players loaded. They loaded off the fives here. Okay, let me show you how, uh, um, the, 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 how we can see. Uh, a, a closer look at the uh, bottom feeders, the bounce players loading today. And this is what we do is we, we, we try to follow the volume. We follow the money. And, and so look at the big load today. We had all this volume. Look, Notice how this giant um, over 1.1 million shares traded off this lower wick. Look, look at the lower wick off of five. That shows people were buying down here in the fives. They bought heavy down here in the fives, loaded up, and now, now they want to take this thing higher. It, it closed above the middle Bollinger Band. Okay, so now it's it, it's trying to start a new uptrend. It broke the the 50 uh, simple moving average briefly, but it failed to hold that level. And that's what I wanted to show you on this chart. Look how look at the green line here, and how the candles keep hitting the 50 simple moving average and pulling back. That is the top of this downtrending channel. Okay, look at the support line. Okay, it bounced off the bottom and it's worked its way all the way back up to the top of the channel again in the 50 simple moving average. So tomorrow. At the open, at the start of the day, what you need to do if you're interested in this play is you need to be watching this 15-minute chart and be looking for a break above the 50 simple moving average. If that happens and it turns into support, that's a signal the bounce play is in progress. And then what we want to see is a break above the 100 simple moving average at 0 0.068. If that happens, then that's going to mean that, that, that there, there's likely to be a big run up here back into the 7s and the 200 and 300 simple moving averages will be on deck. Um, turning the 50 simple moving average into support on this BTCS 50 15-minute chart it should definitely be the bull signal that it's ready to finally uh, head higher, and the break above the 100 will be the signal that the sevens should be back on deck. So keep an eye on this tomorrow. Uh, uh, another uh, uh, Bitcoin play to look at is going to be BITCF. Uh, this is one that just it's been consolidating like crazy. In this, uh, um, in the in the 30 to 40 range, um, there's been a lot of volume on this play. It had the, it had the bounce off of low of day off of 30, and, and, which has been the bottom of this channel. We posted a lot of charts on this, and, and, and so this could possibly uh, bounce and get back above the middle Bollinger Band and 50-day simple moving averages of the green line. That's what we're looking for, and then we're looking for a breakout above 47. The, the, that that is the big level on this chart. That's the top right here, and that would send it up to that 80 level that we've been talking about. So keep an eye on BITCF for a bounce, and then for you lotto players out there, those that like to uh, you know gamble and take big risk and like to play the trips, here's a CCTL. Coin Citadel. This is another uh, Bitcoin play. You know, it had this big run. Um, you know, a, a, a couple of them from from one all the way up to seven. You know, big percentage gains if you can time it right. These are really risky trades to make. But if the other uh, three Bitcoin plays are are uh, you know heat up, th this one should heat up as well. It's been following them, so it's back down in the in the two to threes. You know, this could be another double from this range if it does what it did the last time. And, and if it gets moving, it could break out higher. You know, just always be really careful with the trips. They're, they're uh, the the worst of breed and, and the riskiest trades to make. Okay, thank you very much for viewing this video. Please check us out at mychartcoach.com and our YouTube channel at mychartcoach.com for more charts and technical analysis. Thank you.